Okay, hi, how are you? This is a, a very quick video that I wanted to do because we've just had a delivery in Man From South HQ, a very heavy and exciting delivery of 10 Aqua de Palma fragrances. I decided to do this one because as soon as I got these, I went onto Instagram stories and I did a poll and you guys said, like overwhelmingly said you wanted a first impression. So here you go. And if you're not following me on Instagram, come and follow right now. There's a direct follow button up there. Loads going on, first impressions, all that good stuff, some lives too. Okay, these guys are launching, I think they're launching four new ones and then six of the ones that they already had, but in new packaging, blah, 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 blah. But I just want to get into this and really give you a bit of a first impression. So um, let's see what we've got. Okay, we have leather, one from before. This might be going in a video coming up. Uh, oh, Quercia, uh, I'm pretty sure this is uh, one from before, but we will hold this. Um, Yuzu, right, this has to be a new one. She will go here. Camellia, she's a new one. Pop her here. We will literally go into these, give them a quick sniff and kind of see what you would do in a shop. Uh, I know that these, these are pricey, so you want to know what you're getting. Ambra, that's an old one, an oldie but a goodie. She's going there. Uh, Sakura, you're a new one. Welcome to the family, going in there. We're up to three. Sandalo, that's an old one. Gotta say, these boxes are nice though. Deeper, darker, enjoying this so far. Uh, Vanilla, the vanilla one, that is an old one. Although I don't think I've actually smelt this one, but I am, I'm sure this is an old one. Just in case, we'll put it here. Oud, an oldie, another goodie. So our final one, welcoming to the Aqua de Palma family, is Osmanthus. Gorgeous. Okay, um, I'm excited for this. Oh, so new. How nice is it receiving stuff like this and just whapping it in? I should say all gifted, all PR samples for me to get my beak into and chat to you guys. Okay. Du -du 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 -du. Ooh, hello. Deeper, darker, look. That looks like 197 pounds of fragrance right there, doesn't it? This is very nice, okay. Um, Osmanthus, I think, is a plant, a flower. I, we will find out in a minute. I do have some, some notes that they've sent me. Here we go. This is like my sort of heaven, heavenly day. 10 of these, imagine them sitting out. Okay, Osmanthus. Ooh, 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 ooh. Orangey. Mmm. The um, Aqua de Parma fragrances. Aqua de Parma is a brand from Italy. It's been around for about 100 years, but they are known for having this sort of citrusy bergamot sort of scent. So this is a uh, this is very true to them. Quite a little spicy something in there, like a peppery something. Definite citrus notes on the top. Some sort of juicy orange. Dry down, we're going deeper, we're going darker. It's not too, um, I, I often think of these sort of citrusy fragrances being a little overly summer, and uh, we are obviously going into autumn slash fall, but that's, that's nice. Let's have a little, a little read, I can tell you. For me, orangey, peppery, earthy-ish, I don't know, we're gonna find out. I, I will be trying these out, obviously, this is very much first impressions, and I will pick them putting them on manfromself.com. So I'll be doing full reviews of these and also probably featuring them in videos. Let's see the notes. Uh, Asmanthus, floral fruity, there we go. Top notes, green mandarin, neroli, heart notes, uh, peony, pink pepper, ambrette, and base nude, base nude, of osmensis and patchouli. Gorgeous. Um, so an Osmanthus, here you go, a little fact is a very small yet heavily scented flower, which is a flower from Southeast Asia. So we've got some Asian influence into this. First impressions I like, but I'll obviously see about longevity and sillage as I go. Okay, yuzu, yes you do, okay. Okay, here we go. I'm guessing they're all gonna look the same. I'm kind of hoping so, because I really like the look of that. Yuzu, yes, yuzu. I like this, this feels very sleek. I, I do like the branding of Aqua de Palma with the yellow, but this is 
very now. Okay. I, uh, again, don't know what a yuzu is, but we're, we're gonna find out. Be, if you do know what these things are, comment, because you guys are sometimes a little, actually a lot of the time, more in the know about stuff. So here we go. Ooh. <laughs> it's gone into my mouth. That's punchy. That's, um, that's more sort of floral than the last one. Still like a citrusiness to it, but not nearly as juicy as that last one. A little more, um, a little bit more like tart, a little bit more like sour. First impressions, not loving that so much. The, um, that initial opening was a bit much for me. The dry down is starting to soften ever so slightly. This again, this will be so different on your skin. Spraying on a bit of paper is gonna be so different. Um, okay, that is far more pleasant than it was. And actually that dry down is a lot more rounded. There is a, a sweetness there, a, a slight, I wanna say woodiness. Let's see what they're saying. Uh, what is a yuzu? A rare and highly scented oriental citrus fruit. The yuzu is originally from China and today is the most valuable, um, its most valued varieties are grown on the small remote Japanese island of Shokuku, a true natural paradise. I'm being judged on pronunciations, but I'm gonna go with it. Um, so another um, Asian influence here. We have got top notes of the yuzu, bergamot, Sichuan pepper, heart notes of lotus, mimosa, violet leaves and jasmine. Am I getting that? I don't wanna be influenced by reading notes, but when you are thinking that, there's, there's definite floral notes to that. Um, base notes of musk, licorice and sandalwood. Um, there's a, there is a touch of a, I don't often like sort of licorice, but this and this actually smells really, very good. The dry down is, I actually think I prefer the dry down to that, to the first one. So citrusy, bassier, woodier, and has a sweetness to it. Yeah, I like that. The Sakura, okay, this, if I am correct, is the cherry blossom. And so I'm guessing this is gonna have that sort of scent. But again, another Asian influence. <gasps> this one's slightly lighter. Yeah, this is lighter, look. A lighter juice in the bottle. So we're gonna have a lighter, brighter scent. We shall find out. Right. Oh, wow. This one, um, actually feels like the, the sweetest of the lot there. Again, still those sort of citrusy, juicy notes in there. A slight spice, again. Probably the closest to, um, so far, the Osmanthus, which had that sort of slight spiciness to it. But I hate to say that a fragrance is masculine or feminine, because I think, like, just wear whatever you want. Like, it actually doesn't matter. But out of all of these, this, I would say, is the most, like, Stereotypically awful to say. Feminine, I think because it feels quite light and bright and a little bit more whimsical, whereas the other ones felt like they had more of a base. I enjoy that though. Okay, Sakura, floral citrus. There we go, top notes of bergamot, yellow mandarin, pink pepper, so again, bergamot, the inedible lime, uh, yellow mandarin, so we've got that um, citrus punch. Pink pepper gives us that slight spiciness. There's, um, there's a fragrance by Molten Brown that's got a pink pepper in it, which I think has got a, quite a similar sort of kick to this. Um, heart notes of Sakura, Jasmine, Sandback, and base notes of Musk. The base, I think, is the least prominent in this. This, to me, stays around the head. So far, actually, these new ones, I think, are very, very wearable, and not this sort of the stuff I tend to go for, which is ambery, leather, oody. So I'm enjoying. And the final one we're gonna do is Camellia. The name of my first child, Camellia Jane. Works, okay. That is a different one completely. That to me smells the most oriental out of all of them. There, there is a, a, a different sort of spice, not like hot spice. There's something there that, um, Oh, I like that. Again, still has the citrus in the top. This, I think, is probably, out of all of these, the one that I'm most attracted to in this. 
Definitely the most interesting, I'm gonna say for this one. Um, just completely different. I, don't, I also don't find the citrus to be as prominent in this one, which is probably why I quite like it. I like a citrus, but I also like the deeper, darker, much like my personality. Okay, this one has, let me find out. Camellia uh, is floral citrus again. The camellia is a large cup shaped corolla, comes in all shades, probably got that wrong, from white to yellow to red. Top notes of bergamot, yellow mandarin, another one there, pink pepper, gives us our spiciness, and cardamom. This is why I'm thinking of it being a different sort of spice. In the video that I did with Killian, the interview I did, we went for some of his fragrances, there was a fragrance that he was talking about, or at least a note, and talking about cardamom as being very cool. I want to say cooling, I'm sure he said cooling. And it's, it's this note which kind of makes it feel quite fresh, but a sort of cooler spice. And that is what I'm getting there. Um, heart notes of Camellia Accord, Clary Sage, and base notes of Benzoin, Resonoid, and Musk again. Um, I think this one is, it is the most unusual out of all of these. I think across all of these four, um, I, I do like a fragrance that, pop these down, a fragrance that could become like a signature scent. I sometimes get frustrated when you smell on a guy um, like walks past you or you're chatting someone, you can smell something which you just smell on everyone else. And I like a signature scent and something which really makes an impact. And I think fragrance really does bring that to your wardrobe. These are all very, very wearable. I think across Aqua de Parma, they, they all smell great. Definite Oriental influence. I think my favorite has to be, I like that Camellia, but that's going towards stuff that I already sort of know. The Sakura to me is the, the lightest and one which I, I think is more sort of summer, spring, summer. The Osmanthus is like the juiciest out of all of them. There's that definite Mandarin note in there, which even as it's dried down, is still very much present. The Yuzu, which is the one I didn't initially like, the second one, but now on that dry, actually, on that dry down now, I really like that. That now is all about the licorice. Again, I don't like to be influenced by, by notes, but there is, a, there is something earthy in there, which I absolutely love and still has a sort of freshness to it. Um, yum, enjoyable. Right, what I'm gonna do is, is oh, which one is it? I like Camellia, Yuzu. Day, night, there we go. Those are my two favorites on that. What I will do is, over the coming weeks, I will continue to wear these. I'll do like blind tests on my friends and see what they like. And I'll kind of get to grips with them in terms of longevity of them. Um, and also going back to some of these ones, I'll get them into one. If there's any of these that I went through from the start, let me know if you want any reviews of these. Check out manfromself.com. Seriously, so many fragrances on there across all different budgets, so you will find something you like, and also reviews from you guys. I actually had someone actually give their review today for one of the fragrances from a video coming up, so you will see it all there. And if you're new to my channel, you've not yet pressed subscribe, then hit it right now, the button is just there. So some movie suggestions down there, fragrance pages on manfromself.com there, Instagram, quite often get stories when we're doing first impressions, so come and follow there. But I'll see you in my next new video. Bye-bye.